Hello, and welcome to the Movie Universe. I'm your host, Movie Fan. Today, I'll be talking about where in the world is Carmen Sandiego. And I'm not talking about the video game. I'm talking about the game show. That's right, there was an actual game show. It ran from 1991 all the way to 1995. It aired on PBS late in the afternoons after kids got out of school. It was technically an educational show because what it did was it would teach about geography. Unfortunately, the pictures I've been able to gather for this video are pretty grainy because back then nobody really recorded these types of shows. So all I could find was very badly exposed pictures. So please forgive me and try to work with it as best as you can. How it would go is, it would start off with a cool theme song, Where in the World is Carmen Sandiego, which was sung by the group Rockapella, and the chief, played by Leanne Thigpen, would call out three contestants, or gumshoes as they were called, which was a whole detective nostalgia thing, because don't forget, you're trying to find Carmen Sandiego, so of course the gumshoe thing makes perfect sense. The gumshoes would go meet the host, Greg Lee, who would tell them that Carmen Sandiego is up to no good. She sent out one of her cronies to steal something famous, like the Loch Ness Monster, for instance, or the Washington Monument, or Mount Rushmore. Every one of these cronies, including Carmen herself, were strictly animation. They were just drawn there. It would just be pictures, and it would be in a 2D style when they would move. And rather surprisingly, it's her cronies that do all the moving. Carmen Sandiego just stands there with that side view. That's it. And in order to catch the crooks, our host would give the contestants a series of clues, which uh, were geography related, of course, and they would have to answer the questions correctly. And with those clues, they would have to determine where the locations are. And it wasn't just our host, Greg Lee, that would give them all the clues. The chief would give them the clues, and the music group, Rockapella, would give clues as well. After the final question was answered, they would move to round two, which was known as the Jail Time Challenge. It is at this part where they would have 15 landmarks to choose from. And hidden behind three of the landmarks was the loot, the arrest warrant, and the crook. If they find all three of these objects, the crook is caught. And after the crook was caught, they would go into the final round to capture Carmen Sandiego. And how this worked is, the chief would give the gumshoes 13 locations on which she may have traveled. She would list them all one by one, and what they would do is, they would go to this giant floor map, and they would have to put three poles that had sirens on there. If they got all three of them right, they've captured Carmen Sandiego. If not, they didn't capture her, that's all there is to it. It was a great game show that actually had some real high educational value here, because, like I said, you were learning about geography, and that's what the whole concept was, to teach kids about geography. And this was such a success that it went on for five years, and even after its final season, it was still on PBS for two more years. It was a great show, and I got a lot out of it by watching it as a kid. But this wasn't the only game show that Carmen Sandiego inspired, for there was another, and I'll talk about that next week. This is Movie Fan, signing off.